Hi guys, I'm back and today I've decided to film my makeup collection and storage because it's one of the first videos I wanted to film and it is my most requested video. This video is going to be in two parts. First part where I'll go into my room and I'll actually show you all my makeup and you can see how I store it in my room. And the second part is going to be me going through the makeup so we can go have a nice chat and like actually go through all the makeup separately. Probably not all of it because that would make this video like 60 minutes long and ain't nobody got time for that. I decided not to film the whole thing in my room because it's right in the corner where I keep all my makeup so I'd be like filming like this and I'd be like so here's all my makeup guys and it wouldn't be like comfortable or fun to watch I guess and then the second reason is because it's really close to my wall and I live like in a semi-attached house so you can like hear your neighbours I don't want to be there like, so here's my makeup collection guys, they'd probably think I'm crazy just talking in my room by myself. I decided to come out here where there's more space and less people, my favourite combination. So let's get started and I'll just like cut in a clip of me showing you guys my storage. So take it away future Izzy because I haven't actually filmed this part yet but here we go. Yeah, thanks for that splendid introduction, past Izzy. So, um, sorry, this is probably like a really unflattering angle. <laughs> but um, over here is where I keep all my makeup. And here I have some little pots with, like, hair bubbles in. And here is a jam jar with my makeup brushes in. And here's some nail brushes. And that's just a normal glass. Oops. And, um... Just take a moment to appreciate my friend's drawing of Ed Sheeran that she made for my birthday and my other friend's drawing, which is actually incredible and, yeah, makes me feel really talented, as you can imagine. Up here I just have, like, my hair products and, like, sprays and stuff. So in here is where the magic happens. So I've got a little secret drawer, which is my makeup drawer. And here I have my mascaras, my eyeliners, and then back there I have my like lip balms, his lipsticks, eyelashes, concealers, my foundations, and in here I have my powders. This is basic all powder. Yay! I have three of them. Whoops. Maybe developing quite an obsession. And here I have my like palettes. And here that's the rest of my palettes under that mirror eyeshadow palette so I'll be going in more detail later. Here is a little mirror that I like to store. Hello! And then um, here's my eyebrow kits here. That's got my little tweezers in and everything. How cute are those kittens? And here is like just my palettes to colour in my eyebrows. Some waxing strips which are actually rubbish and you'd be better off using sellotape to shape your eyebrows than these ones and then just makeup wipes so yes let's get back to the rest of the video so i hope you guys liked how i store my makeup well that's how i do it anyway and let's get on to the actual in-depth conversations about my makeup first thing first here is my concealer and i've got quite a few concealers apart from i did lose one under my cupboard because it dropped and then it rolled all the way under it and i was like there's no way I'm getting that back. Yeah, the concealers I use the most are the Collection Concealer, which is the lasting perfection one that everyone has talked to death about, so I decided to pick it up myself, and it does a good job, I'll be honest. And then I also like the Avon Colour Trend one because it has a really good, like, coverage, and it just, like, conceals all your makeup. Also from Avon, I have, like, this foundation. It's like a foundation pot, but I use it mainly for concealer, like, under the eyes and stuff. Now onto the actual foundations themselves. The first thing I have is a BB cream from Avon. And this one I've been using at the moment. And I kind of have like a love-hate with this foundation because I, it doesn't have a pump, which is just the most annoying thing ever to apply. So you literally have to like pour it onto your makeup brush. And I'd like to have a serious conversation with whoever decided to make foundations but without like a pump. like. That's not practical in any way. Like, what are you thinking? Oh. I have the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation, which again is one of the most talked about foundations ever. So I decided to pick it up myself. I do like this one, I'll be honest. It does like your skin really good and smells amazing. 
The only issue I do have with it is that it says on the front it has like light reflecting particles or something and it means glitter i'll be honest it means glitter so when you're in the sunlight you just have a glittery face which looks a little bit ridiculous and like you're in the cast of twilight but what can you do it's quite good other than that then i have the maybelline uh dream satin liquid which i didn't like at first because i applied too much and then it just made your face look really cakey but if you use a tiny amount it is actually really good and does make you look flawless like it says. Something I do is I collect a lot of makeup, like the same one, and I have two of these because I'm always scared that when I like run out of one, I'm scared that I'm gonna run out like forever, so I always buy another one when it's half empty. So you'll notice that a lot with like my makeup. I have like three of everything, so just bear in mind. Then my last two foundations are the Lasting Finish and the Match Perfection, both by Rimmel and the lasting finish i find is a bit too dark i mean it does its job it does last for like ages like 25 hours which is more than you need for a foundation but i just find it's too dark and too heavy and it does break me out if i wear it too many days in a row so i prefer the lighter one the match perfection and i find it blends into your skin really well and will fit anyone's skin type yeah next i'm going to move on to my palettes so first one I have is just like a little brown neutral eyeshadow palette from Avon and I use this one just to fill in my eyebrows it's got two brown shades which are perfect for my eyebrows then I have like these four I have one from number seven which is like a little one with three eyeshadow shades and then just a mini mascara and like applicators here which is pretty cute if I say so myself yeah I have these three which I use quite a bit this one's a neutral palette. Uh, this one has like different colours in, which I wear if I'm feeling very courageous or ambitious and really want to go out there. And then this one's got just like different glitters in. So it's got like bronzy colours and silver colours and it's quite nice. I like it. And then these two are the ones that I wear like on an everyday basis. The, these are the Barry M colour palettes. This one's the Summer Love one which I picked up for my prom makeup and it's got very light shades and a little highlighter on the end and plus it is in my favourite colour. If you know me well, every time I see this colour, any time I point out that it's my favourite colour, like people get so sick of it so soon, I'm like, oh, it's my favourite colour and they're like, yes, we know, you say that every time, but I just, I just look at it, I just love it. And then I also have the um, Natural 2 palette, Natural Glow 2 palette. And it's also by Barry M and it's got a few neutral shades. Oh my god. I heard a noise and I just it was just my cat. Whew. That really made me jump, especially like when you're like home alone downstairs and then you just hear a noise and I'll go let her out. Whew. Next we're gonna move on to possibly one of my favourite bits of my makeup collection, which is lipsticks and lip glosses. I'll start with well, these are more the lip balm sections, like I've got this lip balm, one of the round ones. It's a dupe of that, oh, what are they called? Okay, that's going to really annoy me, but you know the ones I mean. So, quite nice, I do like this one. And then I have the baby lips, which, okay, this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but I, I don't like these. I find they just dry your mouth out, not your mouth, your lips out. And then you just have to go and use more because it's dried your lips out. Then once you've used it up, you have to go back and buy more because it's dried your lips out. Which is quite a good marketing scheme. But as a product, I really wouldn't recommend these. And I think they're just overrated. Possibly the best fits of my lip balm collection are these One Direction lip glosses. I was going to get the whole set, but I only had enough money with me at the time to get to. And I was there at the counter and I just didn't want to like make it look like I had a favourite or anything because I, I wanted to support the boys equally like so I got the One Direction um, Kiss You Lip Polish and they're, oh, they're both the same so I've got the Harry and the Louis one hashtag Larry and um, so I was there at the counter and I was like I'm just going to pick any random two because I can't choose how am I supposed to choose two out of five you, 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 can't, you can't can you like no and then we have like my lips 
marvellous. <laughs> um, we've just got like my lipsticks and my chubby sticks. So I have three chubby sticks, two from Rimmel and one from Bourjois. I love saying Bourjois because it's just such a cool makeup name. And I've got a couple of the lip glosses, the vinyl glosses here. This is probably the worst like lip gloss out of my collection. It's the Essence one, and as I do love Essence, the brand, like it's cheap, so I always go and pick something up. So, um, but I just don't like this one. I find that the colour doesn't apply evenly, and it's just, I don't know, just doesn't work for me, and it's way too sticky, and your hair gets caught in it as well, if you've got long hair. Like, especially in windy days, I always get hair that gets caught in my lip gloss, like. And here's my other lipstick. Okay, I did have two lipsticks, which are my favourite, but I can't find the other one and it's alarming me. <sighs> it's the lasting, the Rimmel lasting finish is my favourite as well, as well as this Kate Moss one, also by Rimmel. And I just find the formula is so good and it will last all day. And especially the matte one, it like stays for ages and I just, I just love it. Mwah! That's going to really stress me out. I don't know where my other favourite lipstick's gone. <laughs> what am I going to do? And now onto the eyelashes. Um, I quite like my eyelashes. I like a lot of mascara and fake eyelashes. So I have gone through a couple of sets of these Primark ones. They're, they're not the best quality, but you know, they'll do. I usually wear them for filming because then you can't see the quality that well. Ooh, that's upside down got a couple of the Essence single lashes in different lengths and then I have some by Finger Pocket I haven't heard of the brand before but I picked these up on holiday last year and I still haven't got around to wearing them but they look really good like natural as well and then the ones I'm most excited to try are the Tanya Burr lashes they're girls night out and they they look the best out of my whole collection yeah next up I have my powders and I've got quite a few as you can tell and I'm going to have to put some down. I don't know how people stand there with, like, loads of beauty products in their hands in videos. Like, I've got tiny hands. This one is a little... Okay. Yeah, the thing that confuses me is that these two look the same. This is my eyebrow palette. And then this one is my blusher palette. But luckily, my sister has stuck Kim Kardashian's on, like, all my possessions. So, um, I can differentiate them. She stuck these everywhere, happened to stick them on my eyebrow palette. So I prefer that to all the school stuff she stuck them on. Yeah, so she stuck them on all my school books and I opened them in class and then there was Kim Kardashian's all over my stuff at school. Yep, that, that was fun. And then I've got this uh, blusher. I don't know what shade it's in. A oh, peach. And I'm not a huge blusher person. This is my only actual blusher. Also to help with a bit of colour in my face are these bronzers I have. I picked these both up on holiday last year. This is the Essence Sun Club and this is my favourite bronzer I think because it just smells so good. It smells of coconut and it is amazing. And then this one, I'm not really sure what that side is supposed to do because it looks like a little bit of a highlighter apart from it's a lot darker than it looks in the palette. So. I never really use that side, I usually just use this side, which is quite good, but it comes across as quite orange if you use it in like large amounts, so I'll just use that for a bit of a face sculpting, oh yes. And then we have my favourite little thing to use on my cheeks, if I can open it, bear with, oh yes, how strong am I? Um, we have these little shimmer balls by Avon. I'll see if you can see them. And they last for absolutely ages because there's just like loads of little balls in there. <laughs> and then I have this um, powder by Avon, which is probably one of my favourite powders next to the Rimmel Stay Matte because it just, oh, it's just so good. It makes your skin look really, really flawless. Like Then I have this one, which I'll be honest, I don't use that much. I really like the packaging to it like this is how most like how, oh my god I didn't even see that was on there there's another one that she stuck there like I still find them to the stain she did this months ago I still find them on all my stuff like, 
how have I not noticed that yet? Anyway, yeah, I think more like... Oh, look! Um, yeah, I think more uh, powder should be like this. Like, it's got a mirror. Do you excuse Kim's face? But And then like one of these applicators, which really annoys me about these. They, they don't come with anything. But um, this is really... Oh my God, there is another one under here. How, that is dedication. She's stuck them everywhere. Oh, and shows how often I use this one that I didn't even notice. And then remember how I said earlier that I buy like three of everything? Yeah, I've got three of these. Because as soon as I can see the little silver bit in the middle when it's running out, I'm like, I need another one. Oh my God, I'm going to run out and then one day I'll have nothing to put on my face. Yeah, this powder is really good because you can use it on top of any foundation and it won't change the colour of your foundation and like make it look really off and uneven because it is literally see-through and I don't know how it does it, it literally just mattifies your face because look at that, that's a colour, yeah, that's like a peachy colour but when you put it on your face it's just like clear and how does that magic happen? That is like pure Rimmel magic I tell you, yeah. Mm. Then next I have my eyeliners, which is probably the thing I have the most of in my whole makeup collection. This one was my first ever, like, pen. It's the Essence one. And it just, like, it's got, like, this little tip. You just draw it on and it's like, oh, can eyeliner be that easy? I didn't even realise. The eyeliner that I'm using at the moment is the um, Little Mix Liquid Eyeliner because it's just so cheap and... I just love cheap makeup, I do. Um, yeah, I've got two of these because, again, I collect, like, makeup, like, the same of everything. So I'm just... I'm probably going to pick up another one next week as well when I go shopping because I'm running out. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm running out of eyeliner, but... <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of gel eyeliner, actually. I've got this Barry M one. Maybe I just haven't found the right brand for me yet, probably. But um, I really... Oh, I just loved the idea of this product, but then it just disappointed me so much. Um, because you've got your little applicator in the lid. Look how handy dandy that is. And then you've got your little pot here, which is really cute and tiny. And then, in theory, you could just go, ah, and then glide it on nice and smoothly. But the formula dries up really quickly. And then this brush, excuse me, but how are you supposed to use that after a while? It just goes really bristled and dries up and... No, man. It's the Barry M waterproof eyeliner, and I've seen other brands do like a similar design, so I'm tempted to pick them up, but I just I can't go through that disappointment again. <laughs> and then I've got another two gel eyeliners from um, Avon, and I know I've got the same thing again, but in all fairness, they're different colours. I've got a sort of like electric blue and a black, because let's face it, you can wear black on anything. And I found that these dried up quite a bit too, so they weren't easy to like glide on. And that's enough about my like eyeliner, because if I went through all of these, it would probably take all day long. And last but not least, my favourite bit of my makeup collection. You know how much I love my lashes. So it's mascara, and I could probably go through all these. Um, I've got the Barry M, which one? Lengthening Mascara in Sky Blue. And I just wanted to pick up something fun, you know, that I could just never really wear out. But, like, just, just to try a different blue one. So, this is quite good. It doesn't give, like, an even colour. Like, you can still see, like, your black eyelashes through them. Well, in my case, my eyelashes are black. It might be blonde, you might be ginger. It's just... Then I have this Avon Super Shark Mascara. And I love the Avon Mascara brushes. Like, I've gone through about three of them not this one but like different like brands you know yeah different products by Avon and all of their brushes have been amazing like I'll zoom in well I'm gonna move closer not zoom in but um they are so good and they're just so strong and tiny so tiny tiny you can just glide them through and I promise you if you get some Avon mascara there will be no clumps and then one of my favorite mascaras is the um Soap and Glory Thick and Fast one and once I started using this one like loads of people were asking me if I was wearing fake eyelashes like to school and everything and I was like no it's just my makeup and it does like you know when mascara say like they give you extra length and you're like yeah yeah sure but this one actually does like 
It's added a couple of millimetres onto my eyelashes, if you say that. Well, not my actual eyelashes, but it makes it look longer. And I love this one. It's a bit slack. It is so good. I can't even like put into words how good it is. And then I like to use it with my other favourite mascara, this one, the Scandalize. You can probably tell by the packaging how much I love it and how well loved it is. I've gone through about like six of these. I just love them. And these make your eyelashes so much thicker. And use these two together because then you'll have like dream eyelashes. At the moment I'm using this one and this one. This is I don't see a difference between these two to be honest. These are the only two different ones I've tried from the brand. I have another one of these again, just in case I run out. <laughs> I'm so scared I'm gonna run out of makeup one day. I know I won't, but I'm just so scared I will. And then I haven't tried this one yet, but it's green, my favorite color. And it's the Flex Mascara. So I'm excited to see what this one's like. You guys won't believe it, but I just filmed my whole outro video and then didn't press record. What am I like? So yeah, thanks for watching. This was my makeup collection video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you want to, you know, if you want to stay, see more, stick around and maybe hit that subscribe button, you know, if you want to. And uh, you can check out my social media links below in the description box. And yeah, see you guys soon because my exams will be over in a week. Yeah, so I have like more time to film and yeah, see you soon. Bye.